This series is definitely a comedy. It has me laughing throughout the whole episode. Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be reviewing Assassination Classroom Episode 2. If you haven't watched the episode yet, I highly recommend you watch it before starting this video by following the link in the description below, and then coming back to this video when you're done. With that being said, let's head into the review. Alright, so this series is definitely a comedy. Like, this whole episode, I was dying throughout it. It has, of course, its kind of points of action because it's an assassination classroom and a lot of other different things that make it the anime that it is, but the comedy is definitely more than prominent within this anime. More than likely, it's because Koro Sensei makes a joke out of everything and the students are always kind of making fun of him because of that and it makes for a ton of hilarious humor. Quite frankly, I died when Koro Sensei decided to go to a New York Yankees game in the United States and was dressed up as a human. <laughs> it's like his costume was so bad, but it's just hilarious. But besides the hilarity, of this anime, there's a lot more behind it than just comedy, and that's what we're going to discuss. In this episode, there was, quite frankly, a lot of recap for in episode 2, when in episode 1, we learned a lot of the things that they mentioned again in this episode, but I think that's because they're reinforcing the fact that there's a lot more to this anime than meets the eye. Quite frankly, they're reinforcing a deeper meaning behind Koro Sensei becoming their sensei in this class 3e and they lightly touched on the topics in this episode however i feel like koro sensei has his own um ulterior motives and like i mentioned they have hinted at this before they did it in the first episode and they did it again in this episode that koro sensei has a past a very uh deep past that we don't know much about they keep showing this scene of him holding a lady and she looks like she's dying and apparently he made a promise to her what that promise is we don't know whether it is to destroy the earth or to become the teacher of class 3e because we know that's two things that he's decided to do on his own whether those were his decision decisions or that lady's decisions we don't know but like i mentioned there's a lot more to coral sensei than meets the eye He's one of the best teachers I've ever seen, to be honest. He cares a lot about the students in Class 3E, and it wouldn't make sense for someone that, that, that is that caring and compassionate would just indiscriminately destroy the Earth for no apparent reason. So there's a lot of backstory and a lot of conflicting morals within this actual anime, where Coral Sensei seems like a nice person, but on the other hand, he said he's going to destroy the Earth, and just kill everyone. So what there is to believe, you honestly don't know. And you can see how some of the students actually think he's a good person, for example, like Nagisa, but there's other students that think he's a bad person, like that one kid that tried suicide bombing Nagisa in the first episode. So I'm really, really enjoying this anime because there's so much more to it than meets the eye, but at the same time, you can view it as a simple, a simple comedy with little hints of action, which is honestly really great. Besides that, I think it's safe to say that Nagisa is kind of our main protagonist besides there being a lot of other students in class 3e. It seems that Nagisa is the one that's taking on the main protagonist role and I think that's pretty cool because Nagisa doesn't really have any like big talents or anything but I just like Nagisa as a character. And of course there is the foreshadowing besides Nagisa's what Nagisa does. So if you saw, Nagisa keeps like a little uh, detective notebook of things about Koro Sensei. And I feel like those little notes and tidbits that people don't really think are that important are going to be important in the final assassination of Koro Sensei because um, that's just the way that the anime is hinting at it. I don't know how else to explain it, but I really feel like that's going to be a thing. Now, something else that was really reinforced in this episode of the anime was the class 3E, and what it is, the end class. 
which if you think about it is very depressing and it really isn't that way. So the class 3E within this school that I don't even know the name of because it's not that important, but the, school, the preparatory school that class 3E is, e is a part of, or rather is secluded from, is a very high standard preparatory school. And there's a lot of discrimination behind the kids in class 3E, and it works well for the school because it encourages all the other students to do well and never get to class 3E. But the way the students look at it, and the way that this class 3E is depicted by other people that aren't in class 3E is that it's just this really crappy place and you do not you do not want to be there and that's kind of how it was introduced to us in the first episode however as we get to know more of class 3E we find out that it isn't such a bad place the students are actually learning a lot and are getting smarter and are enjoying themselves thanks to Koro Sensei but at the same time like I said these conflicting morals they're trying to kill the person that is making this all happen. So, yeah, it's just, this anime is very good because of that. But we also get some more information for what we can expect in episodes to come. And that is that Karasuma, one of the Ministry of Defense like special agents, is going to become the PE teacher to help them with uh, mental stability and their tactical support. That's how they said it. I don't even really know what that means, but I have a feeling that he's also going to be one of the people that starts to like Koro Sensei for who he is. And of course, we also get that really dark and gloomy kind of uh, foreshadowing of a new student that's coming to class 3E that was suspended, and he seems like a total badass, but in reality, there's no real way he's going to be able to kill Koro Sensei because throughout this whole episode and like they did in episode one they continue to reinforce Koro Sensei's Mach 20 speed and his intelligence and just how much of a monster he is and how difficult it's going to be to well kill him so all in all overall I thought this episode was very good um I feel like episodes to come are not going to be like this one as to where this episode felt very uh, episodic in a way because it focused on Sugimo. Sugimo? I just, I already forgot his name. There's so many students to keep track of, but the kid, the baseball kid, um, how this episode was kind of partially centered around him. I don't know if they're going to do that with every episode about each student because I feel that would be a good way to learn all the students because there's a lot of them. And I've been told it's difficult to kind of learn all those characters, which makes a lot of sense. So I don't know if they're going to continue to uh, introduce a new character each episode or uh, tell us more about a character each episode like they did this in this one, showing that this one kid really likes baseball. A lot, all in all, I'm really looking forward to episodes to come. I love the plot and kind of the comedy and the action behind this series and... I want to know more about Coral Sensei, and I want to know if these kids will ever assassinate him, and if he really will destroy the Earth. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, as well as let me know who your MVP for this episode is, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.